Martin Luther King Park hasn't been usable as a little league because of the gang element that was pervasive around it. And the gang bangers particularly don't want little kids playing ball. They want them basically having nothing to do, so they have to join the gang. So it served their purpose to have the field be destroyed, vandalized, made unusable. Of course, our interest is in having the kids be able to play ball and have a, a viable alternative to joining the gang. So we came butt up against the gangs, and Tay needed the help of the LAPD. And of course, they loved the idea of restoring the field to what it used to be. So it became a physical restoration process with the gangbangers ultimately wanting to destroy everything we built. And until the LAPD came in and laid the gauntlet down and said, anybody touches this field is gonna be in deep trouble, all of our efforts went to naught. Now you're gonna see how beautiful this field turned out. And it, it, it's not only to look good, but we want it safe for the kids so they're not running around a field spraining their ankle every second. They have an actual baseline to run along and there's bags to, to run around and you know a field a real field like it's part of the game if you don't have a proper field to play on with a fence that you can hit a ball over how do you know when it's a home run okay what do we really need to have a little league field a lot of people that know helped us and uh, a fence a dugout uh, um, helmet racks helmets bats balls gloves uniforms certainly the kids can't feel like they're on a team unless they're wearing a uniform. And uh, one by one, we started ticking off these things so that we could provide them for the kids and they could feel like they're really playing ball. And you'd be surprised how everybody in the neighborhood kind of rallies around the concept of Tays wanting the kids to play ball. When, when a goal is that easy, we want the kids to play ball. We want the kids to be able to practice. We want the kids to have something to look forward to. We need coaches. So we get Raul. Raul's fantastic. He's an inspiration to the kids. He's a great coach. He gets other coaches involved. He organizes the kids, makes the parents feel safe, that it's a safe place for the kids to come and play, that there's organization and structure to it. The kids will play with kids of their own age group, so we got age groups of the kids. And it really is kind of fun. So last year was a really great success. It was the first year of playing. We could see last year the field was a mess. You know, the mound was, wasn't was good. The lawn had holes in it. Not only did the ball take bad hops, but the kids might sprain their ankle. The outfield fence wasn't right. Uh, they couldn't even see the fence. Kids would run into it. So this year we needed bunting, we needed a lot of things to fix that field up. And we started with this gigantic budget, of course, that we couldn't afford. And then I started calling my friends, like Davey Anawalt's a good friend of mine, he owns Anawalt Lumber, and he said, what do you need? And Tay gave him this big list of gallons of paint, and paint brushes and rollers and this and that and the other thing. And he said, just come down to the lumber yard and take what you need. So. We did that. The people volunteered to paint, so we had fathers and mothers out there painting. And the place really, uh, really looks cool. We have a physical place for the kids to play, and the LAPD cops are uh, doing their job, keeping their word. They're a wonderful group of guys, making sure that that field is protected. And then we want to take that field as kind of the nucleus, and we want to come out from that field and make the surrounding areas safe. There's a park there, MLK Park, and it's an area for a lot of the, the uh, homeless to gather, and there's drug trade going on, and of course, gang bang activities. And we want to kind of extend our little safe area for the kids out a little bit so they don't have to walk through all that to get to play ball. So that's our, our, our new project, and Tay is working on that. She's already got new tables for the, the park. So that's working out. So today is opening day, the Take Collins Little League. And I think I think the field's already renamed the Take Collins Field of Dreams. It's pretty cool. Everybody likes Tay. And uh, she, she loves all the kids.